Welcome back everybody. My name is Andrew and this is Kite Army. Check out what I got here today. This is the Ryobi 40 volt battery powered vacuum slash mulcher. The Vac Attack! I think someone in marketing got like a little crazy. Anyway, today we're gonna find out what this guy is all about. Now let me first start by telling you this is somewhat of a unicorn and that's because there are very few battery powered vacuum mulchers. I think there's a reason for that, but as we go through the testing, we'll really determine if that shouldn't be the case. Maybe this thing's ahead of its time. Now, it can be bought as a kit, which includes a battery and a charger. That sells for $220. It comes with a 40 volt battery, which is part of the Ryobi 40 volt line. Uh, it supports about 70 tools. You can also buy it as a tool only. I think that's about 180 bucks. So it's a pretty good value to buy it with the battery and charger. Anyway, today what we're gonna do is first I'm gonna show you how to put it together. And then of course, we're gonna run it through its paces. We're gonna do some Kite Army testing. Here we go. So you saw how easy this Ryobi Vac Attack is to put together. It's also just as easy to operate. So let me show you some of the features of this vacuum. First off, to adjust the amount of power, you just roll this right here. It goes from low to high. To actually turn on the blower, you pull this trigger right down here below. Now, if you wanna adjust the distance from the vacuum to wherever you're vacuuming, you just adjust these wheels right here. You can do that by pulling this out and adjusting the height. You can see right here, it'll be further away from the ground. And when it's down, it's closer to the ground. Now, the last thing I wanna show you is how to empty the bag in this vacuum. You actually do not have to disconnect it from the vacuum mulcher to empty out the leaves. Pull on the back here, they have this piece of Velcro, this strap. Then you pull this down like this. And of course, you can dump it into a bag or wherever you wanna dump it, but you don't have to disconnect it from the vacuum. You can see it is a bit awkward. Now that you have your leaf vacuum set up, the last thing you need to do is install your battery. Make sure it's fully charged. That will take about three hours with the charger that's included with this vacuum. Now, to install the battery, just right in the back of the vacuum here, put it in those guides like that. If you wanna remove the battery with your thumb, push this gray lever up top here and slide it on out. So I wanna show you the guts of this Ryobi Leaf Act. Now, before I do that, I'm gonna make sure I point out that there's no battery on this tool, and that's because I really like these guys. So inside of this tool, you can see there's actually two parts. There's a metal cutter right here, which will break down those leaves, and then they have this plastic fan. My concern is that that plastic fan over time could potentially break. So Ryobi claims that this leaf vacuum actually can take 16 bags of leaves and turn them into one. Now, if you're paying per bag, that is a huge savings. Let's actually test that. Here's the bag we're starting with. Dump it in there, get our vacuum. All right, so let's dump out the contents and see how much it compressed all those leaves. Here we go. All of it. Now you can see it definitely is taking less room in the bucket. Let's put it in the plastic bag so we can actually see what it actually did. Here we go. Man, I made that look easy. All right. So you can see it definitely uh, is taking far less space in this bag. Whether I think that's a 16th, I'd say maybe no, maybe a third, uh, maybe a little larger than that. So that's impressive. As I said, for many of you out there who pay per bag to get rid of your leaves, that is a huge savings. Pretty cool stuff. So one of the applications for this Ryobi leaf mulcher that I think will work out really well is in your landscaping garden beds. And the reason why is if you use a blower, sometimes you push the mulch all over the place, make a big mess. Now, if you wanna use the rake, the problem with the rake is it's too wide to fit in those small spaces. Let me show you what I'm talking about.
So it's time for the wrap up on this Ryobi Vac Attack Leaf Mulcher. Now, this thing's really cool, and I think in certain applications it will work well. For example, if you have a landscape garden bed, it does a great job picking up leaves there. If you have a really small property, a walkway, it might be perfect for you. Now, if you've got a bigger property, you're definitely going to be getting a rake out. No one loves that, or a blower to get those leaves collected into a pile before you can actually use this tool so I think it's kind of limited in its usage basically the problem with this tool and why Ryobi is pretty much the only manufacturer who has a battery powered leaf mulcher is because it takes so much power to run this thing for any useful amount of time with the battery included with this kit you get 15 minutes of runtime and in my opinion that's not gonna help a lot of people out basically do not waste and mulch your hard-earned dollars on this Ryobi OB vac attack instead go and check out my favorite leap blower it's the ego 765 cfm leap blower it's awesome there'll be a link to that right down below also make sure you subscribe to this channel leave a like on this video and comment i'd love to hear what you have to say when you're done with that there's a video right there that you're going to want to go and see let's do it